back in when D-Day occurred. And on Sunday, the next day, my mother's four brothers all went down to the recruiting station and joined the military. Every one of them volunteered. And my uncle, they called him Ambrose uh, Brosie, they called him Bosie. My uncle Bosie was a hell of an athlete, they tell me, when he was a kid. And he became an Army Air Corps before the Air Force came along. He flew those single-engine planes as reconnaissance over war zones. And he got shot down in New Guinea. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be there were a lot of cannibals for real in that part of New Guinea. And, uh, and then my son volunteered to go to Iraq for a year, and he came back with stage four glioblastoma. And, and, they, and they gave, like many of you, risked your lives, and you know people who gave their lives to the country for heroes. But one of the things that I, as I was doing that today, I was reminded of what my opponent said in Paris not too long ago. They asked him to go visit American grave sites. He said no. He wouldn't do it because they were all suckers and losers. That's not what he said. You absolutely I'm not making that up. Meat Staff was with him acknowledged it today. Suckers and losers. That man doesn't deserve. You can't even talk. What the hell is this? Oh Come my gosh. Command stop the chief it. Of my son. Somebody give him another shot. Give him a hit off of Hunter's Coke Rock. That's Biden. Welcome back to the program. Bottom of this hour, Dana Lash with you. He's telling steel workers in Pennsylvania, you know, because he's ruining their economy. He's telling them this. I love it. Let me just share this. Is, this, is the, this is the Telegraph's British publication. This is their headline. Cannibals ate my uncle, claims Joe Biden. <laughs> U.S. President's theory of Second Lieutenant Ambrose Finnegan's death contradicted by official war records. Because it's B.S., it's been debunked already. This isn't the first time that he shared this. If you can, he, that's not, that's literally not at all what happened. Oh my gosh. They said that the plane went down, but not near a, a cannibal island. And they said that the aircraft knows it at the water, et cetera, et cetera. But he wasn't eaten by cannibals. And there's nothing ever to suggest that he ever was. I mean, the, I, I, good heavens, it's the, there's the leftist news sites that are debunking this. I mean, what in the world? But he still shares it. And he says that, and, and this story, he keeps saying it anyway, that's, that Trump wouldn't go and visit the graves of whatever. And, you know, and he, that's also a lie that's also been debunked millions of times, but nobody apparently listens to it. That story came from J uh, Jeffrey Goldberg in the Atlantic, and there was zero corroboration of it. It came out, this headline, by the way, that, that Juan is showing, this side-by-side -side here. Y'all see this headline? This is the funniest stuff. Are you kidding me? Cannibals ate my uncle. It's a serious headline, Dana. They ate my uncle. They opened up a pop-up on the beach. Mm. And they called it Shea Biden. They ate my uncle Finnegan. Ambrose Finnegan. What a name, by the way. Don't make fun of a potential truth. It's not a potential truth. It's, a, it's an always lie. <laughs> Good heavens. They didn't, they didn't say that. Um, he, and he, or he never said that. Trump never said that either. He never said that about that. It literally never happened. He just ran with it. That's also a story that was debunked by, I think, what? Snopes, Washington Post. I'm just like scrolling through my... They, they said it, they knew it was a lie too when they said it and they still did it. They still, and they keep, they keep saying it over and over again. It's ridiculous. And it never, ever happened. It's been debunked. Trump never said that. And Uncle Bozy, they, that never happened either. And he told this, uh, I love how a friend of mine wrote, he told this story on his way from his Puerto Rican hometown of Scranton, Scranton, Pennsylvania. You know, because Joe Biden also, apparently Joe Biden is more Puerto Rican than Juan. I mean, going by Joe Biden. A hard time believing it. Well, I mean, then why are you, why do you hate his stutter, <laughs> Kane? I mean, you know, you either believe that the man grew up in Scranton, Puerto Rico, or you don't. I'm not really. Is there a Scranton, Puerto Rico? 
Because I don't think there is. I mean, who who knows? You're, with his stutter, it could be anything. That's it. And uh, yeah, he he the the suckers and losers thing was an entirely made up lie that's never been corroborated. And yeah, can we? Well, didn't we do this audio somebody too? No, he did it again. This is him doing it again. What? He did it like three or four times. Not in the same thing. No, yeah, absolutely. Different venues, different locations, same story. Okay, go ahead and roll this. Potential truth. Ambrose Finnegan. We called him Uncle Bozy. Oh my he, gosh. Uh, he was shot down. He was an Army Air Corps before there was an Air Force. He flew single engine planes, reconnaissance flights over New Guinea. He had volunteered because someone couldn't make it. He got shot down in an area where there were a lot of uh, cannibals in New Guinea at the time. He so never recovered his body, but the government went back when I went down there and they checked and found some parts of the plane and the like. And what I was thinking about when I was standing there was when Trump refused to go up oh my to gosh, that never happened. the memorial for the veterans in Paris. And he said they're a bunch of suckers and losers. He never said that. That that never happened. Again. So this was another this was another whole he, he's on the uh tarmac i was trying to think the tarmac yeah that's so let me so again that came from a, a this losers article in uh the atlantic and it's been repeated by even former white house chief of staff john kelly and or no he he's the one who corrected it. it's been repeat it was repeated by uh, uh obama biden's former white house chief of staff uh john kelly went out and he was setting the record straight and again, even WAPO and others have debunked this. And he's like, that literally, none of this stuff has ever been said. I mean, everybody, even the people who hate him, who hate Trump, have denied that that was ever said. I can't believe we're talking about this again. This is so stupid. I, 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 I mean, it was a, it was a, there's a lot of evidence that goes, that, that completely destroys Goldberg's, Jeffrey Goldberg's claim. And, what I remember when this happened, because he was in, wasn't it like a G, wasn't this the same trip where he later met up with the European leaders, including Angela Merkel, and that's when they were arguing about how much Germany needs to be giving towards uh, their percentage of GDP for NATO requirements, and they had like, you know, he was sitting at the desk with his arms crossed. I think it was all from that visit, because earlier when he was in France, he was uh, expected to go north to go to a French cemetery, which apparently was his idea. And they had horrible weather in France. And I even remember stories about like flooding, etc. And he was livid because he wanted to go to a specific World War I cemetery. And they said that they couldn't because the weather was so bad. And the roads, because it was, you know, kind of from what I understand, the cemetery was more in a rural part of France. The roads were bad. He had to keep to a schedule. They needed to get him back because he was supposed to have ca caught a flight and then go after after being in France. And he was going to uh, lay a wreath uh, at this cemetery. And they said, uh, we can't get there. He, he had suggested going by copter. They're like, we definitely can't go there in this weather in helicopter. It's not going to happen. There's like and apparently that was that was Secret Service telling him this. They're like, it's not going to happen. It's too dangerous to go. It was super heavy rain. It lightning the whole nine yards. And they're like, it's entirely unsuitable for you to do this. And he was livid that he couldn't go to that. There was never anything like suckers and losers and all of that stuff. And in fact, there was like a little known, and I can't find it now because it's been memory hold. I had it saved in my bookmark system. But there was um, a lefty who had said, because a little bit about him arguing with the security about taking a chopper, to the cemetery in, a, in like a, you know, a, a horrible thunderstorm. And he apparently was arguing with them. And someone on the left was making fun of him for arguing with his own security on that. So that there's like a lot of stuff out there that completely debunks this. He never said the losers and whatever thing. He never said that. That is so stupid. Like why in the world? Jeffrey Goldberg literally could not even produce anything. Nothing. Nothing. The, um, I'm pulling this up. There and there were email receipts that were produced, even show like detailing all of this, that were describing this exact visit 
and were saying that you know Trump had wanted to do this and he couldn't he couldn't get there and he was livid and and he you know apparently said some choice words to people who told him who told him no. Even John Bolton, who hates him to death, was like, this didn't happen. It did not. And John Bolton wrote about it in his memoir. And they were mad. And, and he had even said that Trump was mad because of the weather. Secret Service refused to. They, apparently, they, Trump uh, said that he, uh, he, was mad about, he was mad about the rain, et cetera, et cetera. John Bolton, I don't know. The whole thing is so stupid. The whole I can't even believe we're talking about this. This is so damn dumb. I remember this is like six, almost six years ago, five and a half years ago. And the media was making it out like Trump made the decision because of the rain. And then everybody's response was, you know, the left can't meme anyway. Bolton they, was still making fun of Trump and saying that, oh, he probably wouldn't have wanted to go to get his hair wet anyway and all this other yeah, stuff. That's, and that's mostly what it became is like Trump just was scared of the rain. But they literally were like, we can't fly a chopper. And Secret Service told you no. I mean, if anybody loves a photo op, it's Donald Trump. Can, and can you imagine a photo op of Donald Trump being in a World, a, a world War I cemetery laying a wreath in the pouring rain? That's a photo op. That man lives for photo ops. Yeah. He loves his hair and he's vain as all hell. But that man loves one thing more than those two items that I just mentioned. And those are photo ops. He will go and do that. And the, so that's none of this stuff makes sense. None of it's true. But to Biden's point... You know, my son Bo was eating by cannibals. He was eating by cannibals, too. I'm surprised he didn't say that. I love how it's just so vague. Yeah, he crashed where there were a lot of cannibals. And the Pentagon records are like, the, the Pentagon said his plane wasn't shut da- shot down. Because Biden said, yeah, his plane was shot down. His plane wasn't shot down. It, it wasn't even, that didn't even happen. And his uncle wasn't a pilot. His uncle was a passenger in the plane. Oh, my gosh. And he said the government back when I was the government went back when I was down there and they checked and they found parts of the plane and all this stuff. It it literally was not. That's I'm so pretty sure that it it wasn't even shot down. Oh no, I just, I just said that it wasn't. No, Pentagon right. records show it wasn't shot down at all. It, it's unreal. Like every part of the story is completely false. Like every part. My son Bo was shot down and eaten by cannibals. Cannibals actually shot him down and then ate him. Really? Yes. Yes. Barbaric cannibals shot down my son Bo. In World War One, how did your son vote? Because he did. Don't make fun of my stutter. I mean, we're at that level. 